Hey there folks, what's going on? It's Mike here. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the LLDB debugger. This is a tool that's your go-to tool if you're developing on a Mac. This LLDB debugger is an interactive debugger that lets you step through and investigate what's going on in your code. So if you've seen some of my videos on GDB, that's the GNU debugger. LLDB is the default debugger on Mac. Probably your go-to debugging tool if you're on one of the newer Mac M1 systems. That is the Apple Silicon. So I want to just give you a brief introduction of this tool so you can see how powerful it is, but also if it's your only option if you're on a Mac or perhaps trying to debug some iPhone code or some other code in C, C++, Objective-C. So I'll go ahead and show you an example and let's begin. All right, so just for reference, here's the LLDB debugger website. Again, it's part of the LLVM project, so you can read about it here. It's not important that you know about LLVM or the LLDB internals or how it's implemented. Just know that it's an interactive debugger tool that's going to hopefully save you time so you can learn how to debug your C, C++, Objective-C, or Objective-C++ programs in the future. All right, let's go ahead and just look at a pragmatic example for using LLDB. So we need some sort of C++ program to debug here. And I've got one that I'm going to display here on the screen. And it's not really important how complex this program is. I just want to use it as an example to show you how to fix a segmentation fault using LLDB. So I'm going to go ahead and quit this and remind you that the important thing is that we need to compile our programs with debugging symbols. That's dash G. When we do this, the compiler will insert additional debugging symbols into our program here, seg.cpp, and provide us extra information, like the symbol names of the variables, the names of the functions, what line they're on, and so on. And let's just go ahead and output this program as prog. So you can see that we run our program, and we run into a segmentation fault. Darn, what happened? Well, this is where LLDB can help. So let me go ahead and just clear the terminal and launch LLDB and create a target here called prog, which means we're going to run this program and LLDB is essentially going to attach to this process and be monitoring or listening for various events. So if I go ahead and do this, you'll see target create prog. All right. So what can we do now? Well, the simplest thing that we can do is just type in run. And just for reference, before I do that, there is a listing of help commands built into LLDB if you forget any of the commands. So you can go ahead and take a look at any of these commands here and have a reminder and a little description about what they do. So for instance, they're listed in alphabetic order, run launches the executable in the debugger. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And we run it and we might need to allow some permissions. And uh-oh, well, we have our crash here. So we can see that we launched the process, it stopped, and it usually gives us a reason that it stopped. So on Mac, it's going to say the executable had a bad access. In other words, we we're probably accessing some memory that didn't belong to this process. And in fact, with our sort of intuition here, we can see that we have a null pointer and we're trying to dereference it. So of course our program is going to crash and it's politely going to tell us where we crashed. So this is pretty nice. It tells us the file name, the line number, and the um, position, character number nine, where we crashed. So we can fix our program. But before I do this, I want to go ahead and just relaunch our uh, executable. So let's create our target here prog, which is in the current directory, or I could put a uh, full absolute file path here and that would also work. But instead of just running the program, I'm going to insert a breakpoint, meaning that our program will stop at either a certain line, so say maybe line two, or at a function. In this case, I'm going to put it at uh, main here. Oops, so it's just uh, B for the breakpoint. And now you'll see that we have a breakpoint, which means we're going to stop execution before we enter the main function. So let's try this again when we run this time. So now when we run, you're going to see that we've entered the main. And before we execute function one, we will pause. OK, so what can we do here? Well, let's go ahead to our help system and see some of our options. And 
what we usually want to do is either maybe set another breakpoint or we could continue our execution until we reach another uh, breakpoint. Or what we often do too is we execute the next command. That is the next command that we can see with n. Uh, or next, if we want to type it out, we can do the next instruction. Or we can often step into a command here. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to figure out where we are. And well, I've blocked up my page here with all of this text here. So let me just type list to get a little bit of context here. And if I just type in list, it's not going to really provide anything. So let me give list and say a number here, list 10. So from line 10, where we are at here. Okay. And let me go ahead and step into our next instruction, which is into function one. And again, LLDB is providing me some context and showing me that we've now entered function one and we are in function two. So let me go ahead and step into function two as well. So I'm going to step in and now we see we're at function two. And at this point, we haven't crashed our program, so I can go ahead and uh, I'm just going to execute the next available line. So this will move us down to line three and we can see we're at this uh, line here. So this looks like this is where it's going to crash and uh, we'll have to fix this. Now, one other command that can be useful because I'm trying to, you know, gather some, you know, idea or notion of where we're at in the program. And in a sense, I'm trying to build my mental model. I can type in BT. This gives me the backtrace or tells me how did I get to line three? So what that says is, well, we started at our main function and I'm reading this bottom to top, the top being where we are in our current call stack and the bottom being where we started. So there were some libraries loaded uh, to set up our executables. Then we execute the main function, function one was called, and then function two was called from function one. Okay, just as we can see in our program. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, run this one more time, and then we can see that our program crashed. And again, we might want to do some information gathering like BT to see the backtrace. Okay, let's go ahead and execute this again. So I can just hit the up arrows on my keys to rerun my commands, and let's go ahead and relaunch this. Now, this time what I'm gonna do that's different is launch the graphical user interface. So LLDB has a GUI here. So we can see where it is. And what this allows us to do is to view our program as it executes in a GUI, and this could be useful as we step through it. Now it doesn't have all the features, and for folks who have used GDB or perhaps your other IDEs such as C Line, Xcode, Visual Studio, Code Blocks, Qt Creator, and so on, you have maybe more fully featured um, IDEs with you know, showing all the variables and all these sort of things, which is nice, but uh, this is pretty good here. So again, the help uh, has some instructions here. Uh, I just hit my function key and F6 in order to display the help here. So you can see that, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, exit out of that. So I can sort of hit tab to move around the different uh, windows. Now, at this point here, what I need to do is go to my uh, target here and create it. Uh, now, nothing popped up, so what happened? Well, at this iteration, or, or whatever version of LLDB is, it's not very uh, advanced. So I'm gonna actually just do this from the uh, command line, and I'm gonna put my uh, breakpoint at main, and start running my program, and now I'll go into the GUI. And now I can see where our execution is. So what the GUI is useful is now I can just hit the N or the S key, S being to step into. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I can step into my function here. And I'm just going to hit S again so I can step into my function and we can see our variables. Now, what's interesting here is I can sort of tab around and if I hit the right arrow key in this panel, you can see what the value is of this uh, variable here. So you can expand things that have the diamond here. So I can use my up arrow keys and down arrow keys to navigate the source. And anytime there is a uh, little diamond here, I can um, try to expand it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, next to move our execution uh, to the next line. Next again, and well, this is where our program crashes. <laughs> so when we see that we get this bad access code, we can't make any further progress. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit. Maybe look at our uh, backtrace here. 
maybe list the code to uh, get some context again at where we're at. Uh, let's list it from line three uh, because that's where our crash was here. And we can again try to fix the bug. So I'm going to go ahead and quit LLDB, actually fix our uh, segmentation fault. And this is a you know dummy program, so maybe we'll just allocate some memory here. Let's just allocate for, say, one uh, integer. And then we go through our process of recompiling, uh, rerunning our program, and we are essentially done. Well, essentially done, but uh, just because we don't have any crashes doesn't mean there aren't any bugs. We actually need to delete this memory. <laughs> and then now we are uh, okay when we run our program. So there you have it. That's an introduction into uh, LLDB. I think the documentation has a lot of helpful uh, tips and tricks that you can use. There's an LLDB tutorial here that's also useful uh, and can tell you a bunch of the more advanced features such as doing watch points, attaching to programs, working with multiple threads, investigating the stack, seeing what locals are available, all these different things. And if you have used another debugger like GDB, you might try to see what the equivalent commands are in LLDB. Sometimes they differ by just a little bit, uh, but the idea is the same. You have an interactive debugger where you can explore your source code and fix bugs. All right, hopefully that was helpful. It's not uh, GDB like I usually look at, but LLDB is usually available in Mac by default or if you install Xcode. And I hope this saves you a lot of time in the future.